Genetic testing used to be the territory of crime solving or scientific lab testing. Today, technology has made it accessible and affordable enough for the average person to use it. This is something that the doctors, physicians can use as an added uh, clinical tool. And this tool is actually extremely valuable because this is genomic, genetic makeup. Pharmacogenomic testing shows how an individual metabolizes medications. Dr. Ong, who offers this test to some of her patients, said one patient taking psychiatric medication discovered she was on a number of drugs she should avoid. She was saying that I'm going to give this report in the next few minutes to my psychiatrist mm -hmm. so that uh, in the future, if anything needs to be altered or added, uh, you know, the physician knows best what to do. Danny Young's company offers similar DNA testing. He says knowing how different patients react to different drugs is crucial to prescribing the best drug for their condition. He cites U.S. statistics to make his point. Every year there's two point, over 2.2 million adverse drug reactions that happens to patients that are taking normal prescription drugs. Um, at the same time, it's the fourth leading cause of deaths with over 100,000 people die annually in the USA, and this is with properly prescribed drugs. Healthcare today is transforming as technology is making it easier and more affordable for treatment to be tailor-made to each individual. Ten years ago, the test would have cost 200,000 U.S. dollars. Today, it costs less than 500 U.S. dollars. The test requires a simple swabbing of your saliva. From there, it gets sent to the lab. So this is what happened to my swab when I gave it in? Yes, that's right. Okay. So for each um, sample, mm -hmm. we'll dilute the cells into the tube. I see. And then put the tube into the machines. So the machines will help us to extract, to open the cell and elude the DNA from the cells. From there, the sample gets tested against various agents to see how the DNA reacts. How many drugs are you testing for per person? At the moment, we focus on uh, five to seven panels. Mm -hmm. It consists of around 100 drugs okay. uh, in the panels. Test results are ready in 48 hours. We are also working on a test for targeted cancer therapies. So on top of chronic illness, we want to make sure cancer patients are taking the right medication because a lot of times chemotherapy is not the best method. Paired with a test is an app where patients can store and share their results with family members or physicians. He says he plans on rolling out the testing to the rest of the region. We are talking to multiple insurance companies around the region mm -hmm. um, you know, for basically incorporating our tests into part of their coverage um, because ultimately will uh, enhance patient, better patient care on an individual basis. The head of the biomedical cluster at the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park says this is part of the preventative medical trend he associates with advances in science, technology and the proliferation of smart devices. We're integrating electronics, uh, ICT, that is the Internet of Things, uh, on devices that would help us to detect things that we were unable to do so previously. And that saves lives.